Good morning, lovelies. Welcome to Christy Grows. Um, I thought I'd pop on because I'm doing a bit of harvesting in the garden at the minute. Um, and I just had an idea because, uh, well, I had the idea last year and I thought I'd actually pop on and just share it with you guys because it's worked out really well and I can actually demonstrate it right now. So I did just do a big video um, <laughs> and it didn't film any of it. So I'm going to make this succinct. <laughs> I've been growing this here for a couple of years. So this is herb fennel. Herb fennel is brilliant. I'm not a particular fennel um, fan, neither is my family, but I love it for a few reasons. One, it's perennial, so you can just leave it and get on with itself. Two, you can use the fronds, the fronds as herbs, um, to give it that um, aniseedy taste to dishes. You can then, which is what I'm intending to do, let it flower. So it's gorgeous architectural interest to the garden. You can see this is two metres high, if I try and put it into perspective. Um, this is two metres high, so it gives that architectural, architectural interest in your garden. Um, and the flower is gorgeous and it's great for uh, pollinators. So... You can then leave it, just leave it alone. You don't have to do anything with it. It will go to seed. You can then use that seed to either plant on or, as I'm intending to do, use it for tea um, or cooking fennel seed. Um, so brilliant. You've, but the, the other thing is, if you just leave it alone, which I have, it dries out. The stalks dry out over autumn and winter. And come next summer, you can cut them back and it just regrows. And then you have an alternative um, to bamboo. Now, bamboo is really expensive to buy. I bought a load of bamboo um, this season, as you can see. But I used, I put four of these stalks in here and look. Firstly, it's worn away a bit now, but... It looked gorgeous with those kind of um, the dried out flowers at the top. So it just looked beautiful against this dark barn, this white stalk with these dried flower heads. But you can see how my beans are loving growing up it and it's really, really strong. I'll bring you in. Look, it's really strong. So, um, so I've managed to grow my own for free uh, to grow my vertical um, plants and you can see this one look how this is just loving it it's going wild over it so I'll just give you a quick look at my beans this is my beans and um, tomatoes so my tomatoes have fallen all across the floor here but they're doing really well I've just harvested them. I should have done this before. But we've got loads of fruit on. I have got them all in the beds as well. And I've got I had them all against these bamboo. But the beans have taken over the bamboo and the tomatoes have fallen and I'm not um bothered basically. Let them do what they want to do and uh, not keep on top of them because I've got beans growing up and then a trail of tomatoes which are doing really well so um and yeah these are my purple cassette growing and they're happy here so the beans and tomatoes are growing really nicely as a companion together uh, you can see they're just everywhere um but yeah but yeah you can see the beans are quite happy on the support and they're supporting. I put them there in the spring and they've lasted perfectly and doing exactly what I wanted to do. So a free alternative to bamboo that you can grow. That is a byproduct you would have thrown away or composted, but better. It would have been quite difficult to compost actually because it's so fibrous, but <coughs> over time it would have, but why not use it there? Save some money. 
I'm very pleased. Just a little update, there you go. A tip from me. <laughs> Happy gardening, everyone.